The change of scenery, getting with Coach Gruden, getting with Derek Carr, just the overall change, what it kind of means to you getting your career going uh, again? It means, it means everything to me. Um, I'm very blessed and grateful for Gruden and the Raider organization to take me in and um, give me another opportunity to you know, show the world what I could do. Your work ethic and everything has been outstanding since since the moment you arrived. I mean, what are you here to kind of show? Um, I'm here just to show. Um, you know, I just want to play for the Raiders, and I want the Raiders to be successful. Um, you know, play for my hometown and play for my family that's out here, and um, you know, just you know, show that I can show everybody that I can bounce back. What does it mean to you to play for the Oakland Raiders? Just that is your hometown. Just this opportunity is pretty rare. Yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot. The last time I played here was with the uh, with the Bucks in 2012, and I had a, a fabulous game. Um, you know, I had a, like 50, 50 family fans and in the crowd, and um, that type of energy just you know, brings the best out of me. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what you know, this year is going to bring me. Uh, Coach Gruden had told us earlier that. Uh he thought that when you guys talked, I believe it was in Tampa first. Yeah. And, and he said, thought that you guys had clicked pretty much right away. Is that the way you felt? What do you remember about that meeting and what made you excited about playing for him? Yeah. You know, I went to, uh, went to a little golf course and we had some, some breakfast. Um, and, yeah, we, you know, we hit it off uh, great. And, um, you know, the vibe was there. And, um, you know, it was, we talked about, you know, the upcoming season and, you know, what, you know, what he had planned. And, um, and I was sold. So, so yeah. Talked about wanting to show that you can bounce back. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like happened the last couple of years in, in Tampa, and why was this sort of a, a good you know, place for you to, to do that or to hopefully do that? To um, the past couple of years, you know, I just got my own way, you know, it's you know, but um, you know, being here, having my family around, and um, old friends, and uh, it's definitely going to help me, you know, um, you know, stay busy and. Um, I could always confide in them if I need something to talk about, and um, yeah, so so yeah. Got your own way, how so? How so? Yeah. Um, just uh, just not you know, focusing on the right things. You know, just you know, if you read the news, you probably already know what happened. Um, but um, a lot better now, and uh, can't wait to get the season going. Your approach was it, is it an all new approach, or did you just you, did you go back and and revisit like this will work for me before I'm going to go back to that? What do you could you repeat your question? Your approach to because uh, you're, you're trying to prove that you you can still play and you uh, want to make this comeback with the Raiders. Is your approach an all new approach, or did you go back to a few years before and, and go with that? Uh, you know, my approach is just basically you know I'm a rookie again, and you know I got to prove to the team, my players, and. Um, coaches that you know that I could you know be useful on this team and um, like I said I'm just you know I just act like a rookie and I just go out there and play play the game that I love. Did you know Marshawn Lynch before you came here or did you did you have any um, much of a meeting meeting with him ever as a friend before or is it is this the first time you're getting to know him at all? It's actually the first time I've actually gotten to know him like I went to a camp probably in high school and I watched the Cal game and um, you know, they walked by me, and I was just, they let me in the locker room for a little bit. But it's actually the first time that I've that I've met him. And growing up, I used to watch uh, Marshawn. I just tried to model my game after him. It was him and AP, um, just that hard nose running. So um, that's probably why, you know, Gruden wants me on this team now, because we're so similar in that type of running style. What's been your impression of him and to deal with and what he's like? He's good. He's, co he's a good dude. He's definitely misunderstood. Um, you know, once you get to know him, once he gets to know you, he's, he's a cool guy. Great teammate too. What's it been like running behind this O line? You know, you got Donald Penn, Kalesio Assembly. You've got a lot of all pro yeah, kind of guys. A lot of big there. guys. A lot of big guys. And um, you know, as a running back, you would you would love to run behind them and they've been doing an awesome job and they and they have been in the previous years. We just got, you know, two other big guys on the line, the, the rookies and you know, they're learning the playbook and they're gonna come along real well. How are you feeling uh, physically? I know that you're not in pads and a lot of different things, mm -hmm. but are you seeing and feeling that explosiveness and, and burst that you oh, yeah. have run with? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it's you know it's it's more easier for me to get in shape here rather than in Tampa because there's a lot of hills over here, <laughs> you know. So you know my grandpa he lives on the hills and sometimes I just like to run up those hills and you know, while I go see him. So that's definitely an advantage from coming for, uh, coming back here. When you look at this, sorry. Uh, when you look at this scheme and. Is it something that excites you and that you think that you're gonna fit in well with? Yeah, yeah, I, I do. Um, like uh, you know, Gruden talks about it all the time. Um, 
you know, we're going to be – it's going to be a potent offense. I can't tell you what we're going to do, but, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a real uh, potent offense. How do you foresee you and Marshawn kind of working out the scheme? Because, you know, Gruden likes to have that one-two punch. How do you kind of see your role in the backfield with Marshawn? Um, you no, know, my role is, you know, whatever the team needs, you know, whatever the coaches ask me to do. Under John Gruden, how would you describe the intensity of almost surviving Gruden's first off-season program in, in nine years in the NFL? Um, I love Gruden's intensity. Um, you know, he, he keeps you really engaged in the meetings. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to to doze off and go into your own world, but he keeps you really engaged in the meetings and on the field. And um, that's why he's just a, he's just a great coach. You know, he loves the game, and that it actually shows on the field and through his intensity detail and yeah. keeping guys accountable. How exactly does he do that? Whether it's in the on the field, yelling at guys, or yeah. in the, the meetings, you know, how, how does he keep you guys locked in? On our, he keeps us on our, star, on our toes. Uh, he asks us questions. Um, he'll, <laughs> he'll make us knock, you know. He does that every two seconds. Knock if you with me. We all got to do that. Just make sure that we're all uh, awake and, um, you know, call us out. And he's, he's, he's very attention. He, he pays very close attention to detail. So, yeah. He loves to... Uh, throw curveballs at guys sort of like, you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to run this play, and then all of a sudden throw something at you. He's like, no, we're going to do it this way. Yeah. Does that, have you found that, that that's an effective coaching strategy to keep people on their toes it's, and teach them how to think on their feet? It's, it's very effective because, like you said, it keeps us on our toes, and um, it's just like any game, anything could happen. Um, you know, the, the play could change. Uh, got to do an audible. Um, you got to switch the which rod you have on your head really quick, and the way he coaches is, is he keeps you on your toes. So, yeah.